suffering tears from your past knowing well that you were broken cast is it you or is it me that's the question every day i ask to be of my mother's life I'm ridiculed and led astray for the strength I have to give away damned by love experience the possibilities of being gay forgetting all you had to say was the easiest thing that I could do How long, how long, how long, how long must it be this way? What else does it have to take? Yeah. How long, how long, how long must it be this way? And what else does it have? How many
what has kept us um gravitating towards each other because like dt said we have worked together um mostly in johannesburg i think initially it was just like a practical thing so i was always singing soprano and she was always looking for soprano and if i was looking for an alto then she would sing alto um but i think we are definitely kindred spirits in the way that we really love music um and also are hustlers man i i i I really think i'm always drawn to like women who are super ambitious and really just like can i swear (laughs) who just fucking go for it you know and i feel like that's the thing you need to just like fucking you know go for it like no one knows what they're doing we're all just trying to make a way um and i think that's always been something i've really always liked about her and we've hustled together on a few things and you know (laughs) hustled with each other and employed each other on hustling things but yeah so i think that's what keeps keeps our friendship going and our fire burning
It's like a game for two One plus one makes thirty when I'm with you Born and bred in Port Elizabeth, um, now called Qabecha. I come from an extremely musical family. My grandfather was a choral composer. He wrote the song, the hymn, uh, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Um, and so that passed on to my mother. My mother passed, passed it on to her children. My mom was a, a vocalist of the hit band, uh, The Soul Jasmine back in the 60s, 70s. So they used to rehearse at our home in the garage. And um, my mom then realized that this girl is always in the garage as opposed to doing her homework somewhere. <laughs> so, um, and I, you know, I was singing in the church and, and, and whatnot, but then I think that's where my love for jazz kind of, you know, evoked. This one day, um, my mom was asked to sing at a memorial service for Mr. Welcome to who wrote the song Bombela, which is made famous by, by, by Brahu. And then she said to me, okay, listen, here's a deal for you, okay? I'm not feeling too well, um, so here's an opportunity for you to go and sing. Um, so I went up, and the funny thing is, funny story is that I used to sing Bombela all the time, like, because our house and um, Uncle Welcome's house was opposite each other. So the day I found out that we've got this famous person, you know, living across us, I used to, I used to uh, uh, stand there as a little gong, when you come Bombela, <laughs> you know, with the hope that he'll see me and I'll be on TV or something. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I then sang at the memorial service. I sang a jazz standard. And that's, I think, where, you know, um, everything started for me.
I was born in Durban in a township called Umlazi and grew up there until I was eight years old. And then after that, we sort of moved and we said immigrated, but definitely not relocated to Cape Town. Music has always sort of been something that has um, been a love of mine. I, I have very sort of strong memories of growing up. There was a point where I was sort of learning dances and learning sort of lyrics from this group called Boom Shaka, which was they were very prominent in the 80s, in the 80s, yeah, late 90s. Yeah, I mean, you know. Um, and, and so I was this little girl, little chubby little girl who would like learn all the dance moves, yeah, and like, and I wanted my hair braided, like levels so bad. But I was too young. Um, and then I think as I matured, it became more of a less an entertainment thing, but more of a love thing. And so when we moved to Cape Town, I was introduced to jazz music and I sang in the jazz band. And then I started sort of thinking to myself, oh, wow, this could actually be a thing. The moment that it made sense for me, I entered a competition, a singing competition. And I came third, but like just how I felt, you know, expressing myself through song, just everything about it just sort of made sense. And so I think from that point, it became something that I was pursuing actively. Oh, you told me how 
to dream Your love's the reason that I sing these melodies I hear melodies when I think of you She's 
she's bold, but she's damaged, and she won't let him go. And there are many times she feels like she's losing her mind. Go back I cannot do this on my own I need you now, I need your love Kaubuya standa sam Kaubuya uzeku I cannot do this on my own I need you now He's beautiful, strong and wonderful. Her past, pocket full. She don't care. She won't let him go. She's mad. She's also insane. Sometimes misty blue. Yeah, she's fallen. In love with you, oh yeah, and there are many times she feels like she's losing her mind. No ma kuyasa, kuyasa. I cannot do this on my own I need you now, I need your love Kabu yes, time to sam Kabu yes, I go I cannot do this on my own I need you now
Yeah. yeah. That feels good. <coughs> that felt good. That felt good. We have both worked with Lungelo for a lo- the longest time. Remember when we were still hustling uh, uh, gigs at the at the chairman and Jazzy Rainbow in Durban, you know. So Lungelo was based in Durban. That's how we met, you know. Um, but Lungelo has just been that guy just for both of us, you know. Um, he's played both our music extensively and widely. Same with Stare, you know. Um, they kind of know both our music, especially mine, from when we're still naked and, and, and bare and, you know, when I was still trying to put all these ideas together. So hearing it now, hearing them play the music now is also just, um, it, you know, it's a beautiful thing for me to, to experience and to, yeah, it's like full circle, you know, and how now that the music is on record, as Pai is saying, I mean, I released 2019 as well. And now that the music is on the record, how they're just growing with it as well, you know. So I'm, I don't, we don't feel, I never feel like I'm on my own, you know. And that's why I can rely on Lungelo and Uste, you know. And, you know, I don't even need to rehearse sometimes, you know. If I say, listen, I want to do A, B and C, you know, he'll say, okay, cool, let's hit, you know. So I think it's just, we've had a beautiful relationship with mutual understanding of the music as well. Yeah. Somebody 
Oh, so 